Well, welcome back, my friends, to another, oh, yes, another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a LT Wright Delta Whiskey Infinity rendition, if you will. Before we get started, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, Stats show that number's going down. However, anything above zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you, man. You have a place here. You we back to blue over here, all to the chagrin of many. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law, and if we do now, which we have, we take responsibility for it. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, there's old Megatron in the background. Now listen, this knife and sheath was sent to me by my guy, Bobby Shue. Bobby's going to be on with me Wednesday night for Work Tough Wednesday. But he sent me this knife, and I'm going to give you some details on it. Right here, that is that forest trail that Grubsy let me borrow. All right? I wanted to compare two LT rights. I'm getting, guys, where more and more, as we have a knife on for demo, I want to focus on that brand. And again, man, big Thank you to Grubsy for letting me borrow that. Just to give you an idea, I know, I know some of you guys have them forest trails. Now, let me give you, let me clue you in on the Delta Whiskey Infinity. Delta Whiskey Infinity. This was designed by Doug Wilson. Doug is the owner of Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. He did this whole outrig right here. So, here's the deal, which I think is really cool because a lot of people are going, man, I've never seen that model of LT Wright, and we've done six or seven LT Wrights, and I absolutely love them. But now, Doug Wilson, Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex, please check him out. That sheath is first rate. The fit, the finish, awesome. The different styles of carry, Molly compatible, awesome. It's got a uh, ferro rod, it's probably, it's got a little tin, it's just badass, man. It's the way it fits. Myself, I would use the tech lock, but like y'all heard yesterday in the video, Kirk would use that dangler. In the comments below, let me know what you prefer. Something a little higher on the hip for a, for a carry system or something a little dangling. Doug Wilson did a fantastic job, guys. Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Now, he designed this knife. LT Wright built, built it. Let me give you some specs. The steel is CPM 3V. We've been on a run of that lately. Love CPM 3V. Blade thickness is 530 seconds. It is a Scandi grind. The handle is five and a half inches long, so you know that screams at me. I love that. The handle scales are Ultrax Sure Touch. That's going to play in huge into this video. The blade length is five and a quarter. The cutting edge, four and three eighths. The overall length is 10 and seven eighths. Now, we're doing the John Peter stab test, okay? We get up to four pieces of sidewall tire, maybe five. Let's see here. Old Scabber never knows. Four or five. We got them. Anyway, those are quarter inch. Yeah, we got five right there. That might be the best that's ever been done on the channel. And you can see me kind of struggling there to pull it off. It went so deep, it actually cut the top layer. So we're going to take this knife and cut a quarter inch sidewall of tire right there. Still belted, not a problem. Here's the deal. Here's where this Ultrax Sheer Touch comes in. You can't see it at this point, but it's misting. By the end of the video, it's raining. Here's the deal. I almost was like, man, I ain't gonna shoot it today. And then I thought, you know what? Not every situation is perfect weather. Not every situation is 60 degrees and sunshiny. They wouldn't call it survival if it was beautiful weather the whole time. I'm not saying you that can, y'all know what I'm saying. You may not, but that's okay. This is Choir Boys Cutlery. What I'm telling you is I want to test knives in all kind of conditions, all kind of adverse conditions. Here's another strap that we found, and yes, I am a scavenger. Now, guys, right here, it's sewn together. First cut was one layer of, of, of canvas strap. Here's two. Zip right through it, son. And we'll probably call it cut it a couple more times. We're going to do our ratchet strap test. We're going to cut a lot of mediums. Now, I found some wire. So we're going to strip a little wire. That's important with me. You'll notice with this knife, let me give you a couple things. To me, that's a modified worn clip. Some would say, hey, that's a modified clip. But you see that choil right there? I freaking love that choil. Plus, it's got a little sharpening choil on it. Now, this, this blade did not come to me brand new. 
It is very, very sharp, but it didn't come brand new, and that warrants saying, all right? Right here, we did a little chop. It is a Scandi grind. We mentioned that earlier. And again, guys, it's CPM 3V. Right here, watch the slicing. We've got kind of that, that fencing grip there. My favorite grip. Got We're up into the choil. And right there, and we'll turn to the side here in just a second. That's some of that box store hardwood. And you see the knife has no problem. Great control. It's got a lanyard hole, and then it's got a wig splitter on the bottom. Those are two things that, that a lot of people like, all right? Now, if you're in a survival situation, you can use that thing to bust walnuts or, or anything hard, I guess. But that's what it's for if Sasquatch attacks, hitting with that. Here is our zip tie test. Absolutely no problem. Let me, let me tell you this. I've got a long list of knives I want. This is on it. This video is 15 minutes, and y'all know we've been doing 10, 12-minute videos. 15 minutes because it was a damn joy to test. Now, here is that two-inch air hose. And I'm going to show you all the thickness right there. You can see it pretty good. It's double-layered. We're going to do a straight, somewhat modified push cut. Now, I had messed up. I put it in that sharpening choil there, bracing up my stump. Now, I'm going to realize that sometimes, oh, there you go, scab. Way to pay attention, son. So, we're going to move it to where we use the actual blade, and we just move the blade down, Okay. I'm bracing the stump. We want to make sure we're safe and all that good stuff. No problem. Beautiful edge on this knife. Beautiful edge. There, there's a little wear on it. But right here, watch this. Right where that little wear is, and about broke my thumb there. No problem. Had a boy scab. And again, into the sharpening tool. Here's what, here's what I wanted to stay, say during this video. I've backed off saying I'm a novice at best. It looks like I need to fire it back up. This is not the knife. This is me adjusting to the knife in the rainy condition. The stump's uneven. I want, I could have stopped. I could have stopped everything. A lesser reviewer would have, son, but not old scabber. Here's what I wanted to show you. Real life conditions. Real life stuff. Life ain't perfect. Y'all know that. You guys know that better than I know that. So I wanted to show you some real life testing, okay? This is one of my favorite things, just to kind of check the edge. This is another one of those edges. One of them, look at that bite. Look at that. And, of course, I'll do it to the front where you can't see shit. But, damn, that's old scab. Right here, this knife, I love it. I'm just telling you, I love the sheath. I love the setup. I love the whole deal. But the thing I love most is this knife. I may, if Bobby don't mind, I may keep it a little extra, send it to DJ, get it all like brand new, and do another video. Why? Because the knife needs work? No. Because... I guarantee you the next time I use this knife will be much better. Why? Because we always preach. We always say, use your shit. Now, people get upset with that. People mistake that. People think we're taking shots. No. If you are in a situation and you decide to whip out a knife you've never used before, you're in a real situation now, right? Well, my skill set, have you ever used the knife before? That's when I say use your shit, I'm not I'm not taking shots. There's knives I don't use. There's grill knives I don't use. Well, Scab, what if you're out with it? I won't be. I promise you. I'll be out if I'm out in any kind of thing. I've got a couple knives on me that I use every day and I know what I'm doing with them. And that's why I practice that. And I said all that to say this knife is one of those knives. I guarantee you next video, which I think I am going to do another one, will be 100% better. There's nothing wrong with this video here now. It is attacking all the mediums. Now, we pop the trunk. The truth's going to be told. Watch this. There's that one inch or three quarters or one inch high pressure airline. Now, for those of you who are new, you think, man, that's struggle. I'll cut some regular water hose to show you the difference. This is a plastic water hose with a canvas covering. Most knives struggle with that because of that canvas. This knife did not. The DWI, that's what we're going to call it. Great design, man. Awesome design. And again, the sheath's a damn home run. And guys, if you want something from Doug or Yellowhawk Customs, I'll try to get some links in the description or at least some places you can go to get it because I'm telling you, it's first class. Now, here's some regular water hose. Bam, nothing. Watch this. Let's do it again. Bam, nothing. Even use the sharpening tool. Attaboy, scab. Now, we're going to cut paper again at the end of the video. But this will tell you all you need to know right here. Bip. I love, 
I love like a, a modern or a modified sheep's, sheep's foot, warm cliff, whatever. See that swoop, that belly right there? Man, I love that. And you can see the sprinkling there. Why does it matter if it's raining? Well, when it's raining, you have some grip. You have some slip, don't you? Materials, mediums change. Cutting changes. Safety becomes involved. And again, lesser reviewer wouldn't have done it. I, I, I forwarded it through it. I powered through it because y'all know Old Scabber loves you. I wanted to show you. Plus, I wanted to see how that Old Trek Sure Touch held up. I'm going to tell you, I don't think my hand slipped. I really don't. Now, this is a monster. This is a four inch toe strap right here. I don't know. We might have had one knife cut all the way through it with a couple of pulls. The DWI gets it done, son, all the way through. Look at that. Like butter, went straight through it. And I'm going to reach in grab something else. There we go. Some more of this red hose. This is the one that will tell the tale every time. All right? And for everybody that keeps hearing that, er, 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 that's my life. That's people messaging. I'll call you all back here in a minute. We're going to cut up some denim material right here. Just slicing it up, son. Why do I cut denim? Well, one is the visual. And it, it this knife really did slice the fire out of it. And you can see that. But if you're out in the woods, nine times out of 10, most people are gonna have on jeans or something like that, right? If you're hiking or something, if somebody's got on jeans, you might they might fall, break a leg, you might have to cut the denim. That's why it's just a visual, it gives you an idea. That Scandi grind doesn't play. Here's some quarter inch airline high pressure, just getting it done, right? Just absolutely hammering down, getting it done. 100% of the time. Now, we're going to do a little light chopping right here. This is part of a beat up 4x4. Four four. Now again, the rain and all that changes. Everything changes. I've got to start burning up some of that. We are in the wettest part I think I've ever been in Florida outside of 2004 during hurricane season. It's raining every single day. So it makes the wood wet. It makes it damp. It makes things slick. It makes it slippery. Now watch the chopping. I've dropped my hand down a little bit. There's really, there's no deflection. Look at that. Hell of a chopper right there. Not the best piece of wood. I'll be the first to tell you that. But it's enough of a piece of wood. It's pressure treated. And it's enough to show you. And I'll say this. While I'm sure this wasn't designed as a chopper, meaning it's not a designated chopper, it damn sure chopped it, didn't it? Damn sure it is, Cam. There we go. Now, Here's the deal. I'm going to do some quick shout outs, guys, and then we'll move forward. Donnie B. All Day is marching to 10,000. Let's get him there. Joe, Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife, my brother, go subscribe to him. Grugsy, Legion Tactical, marching to 1,000. Isaac the Noob, marching to 1,000. Go to those guys. John Heffron, Wingman 115, is about to bust 50,000. If you're not subscribed, please go do so. And, of course, my other channel, Blade Talk with Scab and Joe, which is award-winning, Emmy-winning shit. I wanted to show you all this right here. This is that two-inch air hose. I realized I hadn't cut it, and I try to cut some kind of high-pressure, heavy hose each video. If you're new or if you're just watching it, you're going, man, that knife is dull. That knife ain't dull. Did you all see it penetrate? Did you see it pull down? This is what I've been talking about the weather, guys. Normally, what I do with my with my left hand is I'll twist that pipe because this is stuff, guys, a lot of time, it gets cut with a sawzall. Very few are going to whip out a pocket knife and cut this at work, okay? That's why I like doing this, but I'll take my left hand. You can even see it some there. But the rain, while the, while the Ultra Sure Touch isn't slipping, that damn pipe sure is, but the knife handled it. Never slipped. I was never in danger, and I did that again. At this time, I just said to hell with it and pushed it straight through the sharpening choil. Let's take a look at the edge because we beat on it pretty good. Nothing really. Maybe a little ripple, but that was there up front. Like I said, it's been a little weathered, but nothing that would affect the blade. Some of y'all can go back, pause it, and look. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I really, really am. I want to give you factual info. But right here, this is a little test I like doing. Just cutting it up. Now look at the paper. Now look at all everything would be Everything's wet. You can see by me. I'm inside, yes. It held its edge. I love a Scandi grind. So, Mr. Wilson, hellacious design. 
Bobby, brother, I appreciate you more than you know. Looking forward to Wednesday. I'm scared. You're not. I'm gone, son. Love LT Wright.